Τώρα, ο επικηρυγμένο με μισό εκατομμύριο δολάρια για τρομοκρατία από τον Ερντογάν, Τούρκο, πρώην στάρ του NBA, Ενέ Καντέρ, μίλησε αποκλειστικά στον Σκάι και την Κορίνα Γεωργίου. Ο Καντέρ, που ήταν προσκεκλημένο του Τραμπ στο επινικείο πάρτι στο Μαραλάγκο, μίλησε για την επόμενη μέρα και στι Αμερικανοτουρκικέ σχέσει με φόντο τι επιλογέ Τραμπ που ενοχλούν την Άγκυρα. During Joe Biden's presidency, the relations between Turkey and the United States have been marked by a cautious yet constructive approach, largely influenced by diplomatic channels. What will the new Trump era bring for the Turkish-American relations in your opinion, given Donald Trump's new foreign policy team, with figures such as Marco Rubio and Mike Waltz, who maintain hardline stances towards Turkey? When President Biden, he, before he took to office, I remember one of his interviews, He said, in Middle East, there's only one problem, and that is Erdogan. He said, when he gets in office, he's going to have a serious conversation with Erdogan. Look what happened for the last four years. Nothing. President Biden was willing to give Erdogan F-16s. I remember the face of my Greek friends when they heard about, you know, President Biden might consider giving him F-16. It is unacceptable, because I know once Erdogan take those fighter jets, he's going to harass everybody. He's going to harass Greece, he's going to harass every region around Turkey. Turkey is the Trojan horse for Putin in NATO. What I'm hoping from the Trump administration is to be more tougher on Erdogan. Do you believe that these choices make President Erdogan feel betrayed by Donald Trump? And in what way do you think that he's going to respond? I think what everyone is going to respond when those important people in the administration are going to start to, you know, call out Erdogan's hypocrisy, call out his friendship with the other dictators. Erdogan is threatening the whole Europe with the refugee crisis. They're sending weapons to ISIS. This has to stop. The diplomacy is not working with Erdogan. Do you see the possibility of new provocations towards Greece, for example? Yes, I do believe that he's going to keep provoking, you know, Greece and the Greek governments. Once the Erdogan regime is gone, the Turkey and Greece definitely are going to have a better uh, relation in the future. You were present at Donald Trump's gala at Mar-a-Lago. You had the chance to speak mm -hmm. with him. Tell us more about the atmosphere at Trump's mansion and your personal sentiments after his election victory. It was actually a beautiful night. Uh, a lot of people showed up, uh, a lot of politicians, a lot of people in his uh, cabinet. Uh, Elon Musk was there. Uh, the president of Argentina was there. I had a lot of conversation with, especially from, uh, from his cabinet, And, um, you know, we talked about what can we do to bring more awareness about all the human rights violations that are happening around the world. You wrote on a post that you're looking forward to working with the Trump administration. Right. Is there any role that Mr. Trump has in store for you? Will we see you in his team? I haven't talked to him about any kind of role yet. But, um, I mean, obviously everybody knows that I stand for uh, freedom and I stand for justice and democracy around the world. If he willing to give me any, any kind of role in his administration, I will be happy to do it.